Hi everybody and welcome to I Like Cruise Ships the YouTube channel and welcome to a new video. Uh, today something a little bit different. Uh, as you know for the channel I make lots of cruise ship videos but whilst I'm at home for months and months on end I have to make something a little bit different. So here's a little bit of a traveling with Russell video. Uh, today we're going to go to the local fruit market and we're going to have a walk around and check out what's on offer and see if there's any good deals and uh, see what we can buy. Okay, we're gonna jump in the car and head to the fruit market. Now, actually, I'm at home. This is actually my local park. Now, if I spin around nice and slowly, this is actually right across the street from my house, which is an apartment just behind those trees. I'm actually just gonna head to the post office right before I jump in the car to go to the market. So, this is my local park. It's actually called The Village Green. Now, if you'd like to see a video of The Village Green, I can make another video, I think, uh, walking around here at The Village Green. It's a really beautiful park, and there's never anybody here. There's maybe one or two people at a time, maybe somebody walking their dog randomly, but it's very quiet. So I'm gonna head to the post office. I've got a couple of uh, things to post off. I can actually do another video about what I'm doing to uh, make a little bit of money while I'm at home. It's actually a little bit maybe different to what you think, but I've got two to post off right here. Oh, I'm kind of revealing their addresses. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments. Uh, Travelling with Russell, we're going to head to the fruit market. So let's go. All right, we'll keep okay, so I've just finished up at the post office. And I don't know if anybody knows, but I live only 400 metres from the beach. And this is my local beach just behind me. And behind me, uh, there is a ton of people, and they've got the State Open Swimming Championships going on. So if we spin around here, I'm just going to spin this right around. And it's a little bit far off, but there's some red buoys all the way along here. It's going to be windy now as well. And they've got a 10 kilometer open water swim going on. Now it's really nice and calm water here. If you saw my previous water lapping video. So yeah, there is a, quite a lot of people down here. Uh, it is the weekend, of course. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you a quick walk to the beach on the way back from the post office to get in the car to go to check out this fruit market. And I thought we'd just do a quick montage of the beach before we get in the car and head to check out this fruit and veg market. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're going to have a walk around uh, summer fruit sales and take a look. Now, we're going to see some uh, nice buggins, I think. You can see how busy it is. Uh, so this is basically like bulk fruit and veg. Um, kind of by the box or by the crates and let's see all the prices are on the floor here so you can see bags of mushrooms three dollars 
Uh, boxes of tomatoes for six dollars. Uh, more tomatoes. Have some uh, green and red capsicums. Uh, five dollars as well. And what do we have here? I think this is maybe cabbage. It's, uh, lots of good deals some carrots some uh, cabbages broccoli lots of uh, buggins for everybody it's, uh, it's very nice and I've already lost my wife walking around here celery two dollars a bunch it's very nice. Peaches. Everybody's digging out the good and bad peaches, but it's okay. Um, chilies. $45 for a crate, I guess that is. That's a lot of chilies. Eggplants. And some strawberries. $3. Oh, you buy by the tray, or well, three dollars each, I guess. Here's some nectarines, mangoes. The mangoes are kind of in season, but it depends on where you get them at the moment. Some of them are a little bit hit and miss with the quality, but for blending and for juicing, it's very nice. And then there's some cherries. So yeah, let's move on to the next one and have a look around. You can see how busy it is. People coming and going is really cool. Everybody like looking for buggins. It's very nice. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Oh, one more time. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we've come to another one now. This is called the crop produce. Cream of the crop produce. And we're going to have a little walk around and see what they have in here, shall we? So these are all very similar, the different markets. So it depends on what they have on the day. Cherries, uh, mushrooms, strawberries again. Get some um, uh, broccoli. I think you get, I think you buy them, isn't it heads of broccoli? I don't know what groups of fruit and vegetables are, so is like you know like a bunch of grapes uh, mangoes very cheap but just a little bit bruised but for making blender and juicing it's good nectarines uh, cucumbers everybody going crazy for apples right now so you can get a whole box for $25 uh, red apples let's have a look in here everyone's going crazy for apples like there's no more trees left but uh, apples at the moment here are about $6 a kilo, so if you can get a whole box for $25. Uh, pears. Oh, look at this. Uh, pineapples for $150. So it's all very good. Whole bags of potatoes. More tomatoes. Tomatoes everywhere. Um, onions over there. I hope this is interesting by the way because I was trying to find something different to make a video of. These are rock melons for a dollar each. Uh, yeah. There we go. We've got... I feel like I'm just trying to name every fruit and vegetable that I can see here. These are eggplants. You guys know about eggplants. There's some mangoes. The mangoes look very nice. Um, yeah, this one's not as busy as the other one was. So each of the different uh, wholesalers tend to have a different specialty. So you'll see here, these guys have lots of uh, capsicums. These are very red capsicums. And then what else is there over here? Let's have a quick one quick look. Tur oh, these are turnips, I think. Yeah. Turnips. And then celery so yeah lots of uh, 
wholesale. I think the, the apples seem to be the most favorite thing over there. Check out everybody out still digging for apples. So yeah, let's move on and check out another market, shall we? Okay, now we've come to the, one of the outdoor ones here where they've got, uh, look at the lines here for the registers. This is crazy. And on both sides, people really want to do their shopping. I'm trying not to be so loud here because everybody's seen me with the camera filming. So this is what we really came for is the mangoes. And these are big mangoes. They're probably about a, just under a kilo each. So the whole box is $15. They're a little bit, uh, let's say, bruised, but these are very nice. You can cut the skin off these. Some very green mangoes here too. They're a little bit hard. Need to ripen up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, out here is more like a general fruit and veg. It's a little bit awkward here because it's very shaded. There's apples, uh, nectarines. So out here they pretty much buy the kilo, whereas the ones we had inside were by the boxes, so you could get a smaller amounts here. Uh, what's this one? Uh, sprouts, uh, beetroot, check out these crazy things, what are these? It's like big cucumbers. I'm not sure what this one is, I'm sure it's cucumber, but it's giant cucumber. And there's eggplant, so like the size of my hand. Yeah, lots and lots of different uh, fruit and vegetable uh, options here. And tomatoes. Oh yeah, look at these. Now, of course, uh, if anyone has watched my videos, especially while I was in Russia, I did go to a fruit and veg market in Moscow and that one was huge now we don't have nearly the population in perth to have this kind of market okra yes i know what okra is i'm not sure what angelina I'm not sure what they are it's like a tomato feel but it's very strange i don't know angeline sprout maybe i don't know what this is Hmm. I'm not sure the name of that one. Beans we know very well. Yeah, the one in Moscow, the uh, market that I went to in Roscoe was, you know, you could buy by the truck. They had basically 40 foot containers of fruit and vegetables. Here is a little bit smaller scale, but there's uh, still plenty of choices. Actually, they've got the broccoli here frozen. Iced broccoli, you buy the whole box. So yeah, this is the outdoor the one. There's a little bit uh, busier because people are buying, you know, quite a bit of mixture of things. The ones inside were mostly buy whole boxes. So yeah, there we go. And we're gonna see if we can go into the fish and fish and meat market. I'm not sure if we'll be able to film in there, so we're gonna go there right after this. And we'll leave you with the uh, eggplants. So just coming into the meat section, I had to do a quick voiceover. It was very loud in there because of the noise of the refrigerators. Uh, we really had it here pretty quick. Uh, we didn't really uh, buy too many things. So yeah, and then we head on from here over to the fish section. So yeah, that's the meat section very fast. Okay, so we've come now in to see the seafood. And we can see here the nice crowds of people again. And I think everybody did their fruit and veg shopping. And now they're here to check out the seafood. There's prawns, Tasmanian salmon, $14 a kilo. Uh, what's this one? Brim, spotted cod, lots of different fish. We'll have a bit of a better look around in a second, shall we? Yeah, lots of people uh, coming for a bargain and then quite randomly the guy at the back yells out like a price for something that's going to be on special tropical snapper tropical is that the same as regular snapper I wonder maybe from warm water let's have a look Sp spangled emperor 
$6.90 a kilo. Uh, yeah. Tuna manga fish. I don't know the name of these fish, and these are Australian fish, uh, and I don't know the name of them. Uh, fish trimming. So if you want to make, I guess, uh, soups, red emperor, trevally, it's very nice. All right. So we've come outside now, and we thought we'd come to the sausage sizzle, but it's not sausages. Tasmanian salmon burgers. Check this out. Oh, very, very nice. You can add an egg as well. So you got Tasmanian salmon burgers, $5. Mackerel burger, two burgers. And add an egg. Very basic. But this lady's doing roaring trade with salmon burgers. Whoever needs a sausage sizzle. And this is mine over here. I got a salmon burger and I added some chili sauce. So, what do you think? Yeah, every time when I come over here, I, I have that one. I love the salmon burgers. Nice. I didn't even know about it uh, until now. So, check it out. One last chance. And mine, I'm going to grab it and go. Alright, so as we walk back to the car, I've got my salmon burger. And it is delicious. The best $5 I think I spent today. Apart from buying some fruit and veg as well. So, I'm going to finish my burger. And we're gonna keep going. All right, everybody, we're leaving the market now. This is slowly coming to the end of the video. Um, I'm just filming a little bit here as we're driving off. We're gonna come out from the shade now to the sun. So I hope you like the walk around of Canning Vale uh, fruit and veg market. Just have to look which way we're going. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, there's a lot of, of course, fruit and veg as we saw, fish, meat. Uh, I had to look, do a little bit of a voiceover for the meat section, so when you're watching the video, you'll see the volume sort of jump around a little bit. And then when we were in the seafood section, the guy got a little bit upset me filming it, so we had to not film it anymore. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it is very interesting. Uh, a lot of the fruit that we saw today was pretty much fresh today. So anything that you bought uh, would have had to been eaten, let's say, in the next two or three days. Um, the mangoes, we didn't uh, see anything that was amazing. They were very cheap. They were very eat edible, eatable, edible, um, but uh, not amazing, amazing mangoes today. Uh, we did get some prawns uh, or shrimps, as most people in America call them. Uh, we call them prawns or king prawns, tiger prawns. Uh, they had banana prawns, if you notice some of the signage there. So yeah, we're just leaving the market and heading home now. It's still very early because we left and came very early. Um, I hope you like the video, uh, the walk around of Canning Vale Markets. Uh, I like cruise ships or traveling with Russell, I guess we can call it. Uh, we're trying to find new and interesting things to do and checking out the fruit market this morning and the fish and my salmon burger, the best $5 you'll ever spend today, I think. And my, uh, for the salmon burger, let's just get over the lane here. Um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget if you're not a subscriber and you do like the channel, uh, click subscribe. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like watching the video, maybe post a comment. Let me know maybe where you live, you have markets similar to this. Um, I'm not sure, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Uh, yeah, and we're going to see if we can find something else interesting to make for the next video. Of course, cruise ships are in a pause right now, so there's not much going on. Uh, we're at a red traffic light, by the way. Um, so yeah, I have to try to make a little bit different videos. The traveling with video, Rus uh, traveling with Russell videos, kind of the thing we can do. Uh, I'm going to pull a link to the uh, Moscow fruit market walk around. So if you want to see, that was called Food City. Um, you can check that out in the link in the description. And I think if we can put a little card up the top, you can check that out as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. I like cruise ships, the YouTube channel from Perth, Australia. And catch you later. Bye everybody. Bye.